Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Library of Vina. I now have a strategy for this fight, because I do not want to deal with it anymore. And just get some abnormality sun. No thanks. Having all five eyes means I literally cannot take them away. This is better. Then I restore light against them. Freak. And then restore the light. Um. That. And. This as well. There we go. Uh oh. And there we go. More damage being dealt. And that as well. I'll have to take a hit there. Um, do that. And this as well. Heh. <laughs> yeah, take those hits. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. I'd rather just do that. Uh-oh. That's really bad. Alright, there we go. More damage being dealt. Nearly half health, which is bad. Sad they can only g g g g g And I cannot damage them. They're gonna have to take all those hits. Uh oh. At least they're not getting strength from that. Oh, they gained. They might have gained strength from that though. Sadly, it's ne only nearly staggered. Mm. That. 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 And that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do that. There we go. Alright, nearly, nearly staggered, good.
Oh, I probably should have used the uh, card for them. Oh, I just realized that's probably going to kill them. Alright, let's just hope. Oh, there we go. Victory. Is there... Very good, I am recording. Alright, there we go. Finally, I can get some cards. Mark the first enemy that is attacked by the sniper and after the page is selected. Deal 2 to 6 additional damage when attacking the marked foe. Each of the scene gains strength based on the amount of damage taken in the previous scene. 1 strength per 5 damage. The Liberian's HP is 50% or lower, gain 1 strength for each scene. <clears> hmm, <throat> you there, ma'am? I brought a few books, ma'am. Even there, we'll take a look in a bit. I'm very sincerely sorry for my insolence either. Earlier, Miss Redmust, ma'am. Cut to flattery. You and I are pretty much in the same shoes here. Are you actually the Redmust? I heard a lot of stories about her, but I never really got to meet her since we worked in completely different areas of the city. Leave what you want. The whole Redmust buzz is nothing but a hollow shell now. I mean, not that I don't believe you're anything. It just feels unreal that a legendary fixer is standing here with me. I died trying to protect my colleagues in my first life. In that laboratory in the outskirts? Yep, and, and as my second life, I was woken up in Lavani Corp, with a blurry memory of the past. It was the your zone of activity anyway? East of the city. I was on the western side. No wonder we never ran into each other. I got a question about one of the legends of the Redness. Do you take questions, ma'am? What's it? The one about slaughtering five proxies in the index alone. Ah, uh, the index. It's been a while since I heard one of those rancid titles in the back streets. The vexing memories. Yep, I did it. I took down five proxies and three messengers of the index, to be precise. Damn, you really are awesome, ma'am. I didn't say anything about the messengers, just to make sure. You got that right, too. Ten years have passed in the outside world since I disappeared, I heard. And sitting in the back streets are still the same as before, aren't they? As in dirt poor people killing and stealing from each other and living in constant fear that someone might assault them? Damn, so it's some different. Pretty much, the tools and methods may have changed from ten years ago, but basically the same sort of things have been going on. Laughable, laughable, isn't it? I went through all the heavy hassle, hoping to change that, and it was a, to no avail. But there's a new sandwich franchise called Ham Ham Pang Pang that- wait a second. <laughs> it's been expanding into each district of the back streets lately, which has been a huge boost to the quality of life. If any you were planning to visit for a special sandwich before you got kidnapped here? Mm, yeah, I'm still so salty over it. Glad to hear that there's been some improvement, at least. I hate the back streets. As someone born in those slums, every single day of surviving the fruit was living hell. What district are you from? 23. That's more than understandable. Think about all those old memories is giving me heartburn. Maybe I should go fetch some liquor from that sack. I'll sort out the books you brought yourself, so you can go now. Alright, you don't seem to need mood to talk anymore, anyway. One, thanks for the books. I'm just doing my job. And one more thing. What now? Can I uh, join you in borrowing some alcohol from that? If you insist. Eh. Finally, level two. And there's another. You know, gut feeling says I want to actually at least try better pages for this instead of just using a strat. Um, and also, oops. Break. 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 Uh, let's go Lowell's page. And Callow's page. Because now I can actually use more. The big and will be bad wolf. Alright. Alright. Every two scenes use a combat page as well as the target. The hot unhit. The consumed librarian excluded from the battle for the next scene. After swung out Lyrian, all stagger damage resistance changes to fatal for the next scene. If the wolf is staggered within the scene, expel the captive Lyrian. Lyrian loses 25% of their max HP upon being expelled and becomes staggered. Uh, if the wolf does not get staggered at the scene as well as Lyrian, the Lyrian is killed and the wolf transforms into a powerful state. The wolf transforms with HP is at 50% or lower at the start of the scene. HP does not fall below 30% before transforming. I can't see that, and that's weird. Uh, bayonet combat. Who's getting attacked here? Um, 
fix that. I'm gonna heal. Uh, fleet edge. And multi slash. Alright, shoot them down. And more damage dealt. Actually, yeah, why not? I right, got staggered. That uh, multi slash. I got guess armor. Actually, don't want to waste that if if I if it's not going to be able to fall below. Uh, so actually, and so it'll be fine. Just means that it's gonna be easier to fight them. Dang it, I'm gonna have to take a few hits there. Alright, good. Did a little bit of normal damage. Emotional turbo ones. Oh, blunt is good. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good either. At least I'm adding a lot of burn. So that, when I click, it loses HP. Oh, I just realized Max Sagar just increases and in, uh, Sagar's is indescribable. After the abnormality, you lose twenty five percent or more of the HP. It at the point of transformation. Gain the gain the skul skulking in the shadows status for two next two scenes. Shadow liquor. When the abnormality has the skulking in the shadows status. Librarians other than the ones targeted by the abnormality cannot target it. Uh, after skulking in the shadows wears off, all Sagar damage resistance change to fatal for a scene. Not good.
All right, more burn implied. I can't do anything with her, sadly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Probably gonna win from just burning them to death. Seventy eight seventy eight HP. Uh, and that actually, just in case that. Alright, good. Hmm. And they're down. Making two abnormalities from this floor down. Ooh. At each time the selected librarian wins clash, the last die on their current page gains one to two power. Cover three, seven of HP on a successful hit that dot final die. If the librarian sustains damage greater than 25% of their max HP, become an untargetable and clash will next scene. The librarian gains 2 strength at scene and inflicts 1 bleed of each successful attack. Counter dice gain 1 to 2 power, counter dice inflict 2 fragile upon winning a clash. What are you up to? Meditation? Nothing, just taking a break from my eyes closed. I'll leave the books in the usual spot and be on my way then. Seems like I shouldn't be disturbing you. Wait, huh? What district in the back streets are you from? District 17. It was a decent place. What do you say to the part of the back streets you grew up in was also hellish? I mean, no matter how horrible the neighborhood may be, people still live there and anywhere inhabited by people is hell, one way or another. Yeah, people will be people in the end. I suppose each corner of the back streets has its own woes. Throughout my life, lives, I always fought to protect others. Though I rarely ever managed to protect anything flawlessly. Want a sig? Thanks, but no thanks. I quit smoking long ago. Really? Didn't expect that. In the part of the back streets I was brought up in, the neighborhood would constantly change. I wouldn't say my neighbors had their their hearts in the right place, but some of the adults were kind of nice to me. Although they'd usually be gone if I had a trace or end up rolling around the street with their limbs chopped off the next morning. Jeez, that's rough, must mess up even for the back streets. The Street 23 really didn't live up to its reps, huh? It was when the turf wars and purges between syndicates were at their peak. Just like what's, hap what's happening in the body corpse nest right now. And you mentioned survived that. We went into depth fixers to avoid going there. It was the only place I had. I couldn't even imagine going moving to another district where there was less bloodshed. I was just desperately lo looking for ways to survive in that hell. Prior to District 23, even the carnival of their smiling faces looks look like child's play. Yeah, soon enough I began to constantly seek ways to protect the people around me in that hell hole. You can tell much about a society from the vocabulary used by its people. The language used in backsheets is often simple and straightforward. They pick common words found in everyday life. They don't bother making up special terminology. It applies to things that have uh, become a part of their everyday life. They're often even more relevant than the original meaning of the, those words. I guess the five fingers like the thumb and the index and the sweeper is surviving some of that. People in the actually tried to gain wealth and power. I can't afford to pursue anything more than the things to keep themselves alive. You know what's funny though? Even if one were to have power, that power would only strike down, not up. The victims in the back streets were potential perpetrators who just weren't strong enough. Let me tell you about the story of a kid named Callie, seven years old at the time. 
The first thing the kid remembers was crying alone in the corner of an alleyway, surrounded by blood and guts. We didn't have anyone to call friends. People around her would all disappear sooner or later. Most kids her age were either abducted by the sweepers or treated like their toys. A small kid couldn't do anything but watch in silence. It was by sheer luck that Callie could survive until she was 13. It cherished the good fortune she was given. Callie observed and observed in order to sur survive through her own effort. So Callie made it to 20 years of age, following strategies of her own. She finally became a fixer. There wasn't much else she could do. You thankfully didn't join a syndicate or anything, huh? The kids swore that she wouldn't st stoop to their level. Kelly the Fixer's life got on a staple track sometime after she started working. Work fitter well thanks to the environment she grew up in. Oh, it was the same too. She thought she could now protect her neighbors living in the same apartment given that she had some power being a fixer. The streets Kelly was living in were still quite dangerous. As she thought she could ought to return the favor to Mr. C next door and Miss Goose upstairs, the neighbors who she was in dubbed to. Those who would often give food and drink to Kelly ever since she was a child. They were two of the only people she had known for a long time. They were like family to her. Out of gratitude, she gave them some, some of the money she earned. That's nice of her. You know how they were paid Kelly for all the money she gave them for more than not? I guess it was anything good, judging from the flow of your story. They conspired with other residents of the apartment, broke into Kelly's house while she was asleep, finding her hands and feet while looking for a safe. Oh, I see what they were up to. I was that Kelly was keeping much, much more money in her stash. Yep, they really tried. Did to, they really did try to rob her? Kelly couldn't believe it. Not because she found herself bound when she woke up. It's because she saw filthy lumps of greed crawling around right before her eyes. It was the day before they used to be her friendly neighbors. They understood the agony of loss better than anyone. Kelly only hoped that the money she gave them would be used in meaningful ways. She just wanted to protect them with, with her newfound strength. Stereotypical people, weren't they? I'm sure Kelly didn't let them get away with it, like a fool, yeah? She didn't. Kelly was stronger than they thought. You could forcefully snap the ropes, binding her at any moment, but she chose to wait. She wanted to believe all this was just a misunderstanding or a prank. But the repulsive words they spat out so casually, talking about how this was their opportunity to use her money to move to a different place. <coughs> <coughs> it was neither a dream nor a misunderstanding, but a cold truth. So did those son of bitches get what was coming to them? Man, it's upsetting just hearing the story. You're right, she killed all of them, and Kelly burst into tears, covered in the blood of her neighbors. Those neighbors who she had been protecting from violence were no different from the others in that they would resort to violence themselves once they had power. The seventh cycle wouldn't stop no matter who she tried to protect. Yeah, sometimes I feel like there's no point in having any sympathy. I also struggled a lot thinking about what's right and what's and wrong during my early days as a fixer. What kind of fixer were you? A neat and sensible fixer who rationally handled his work, so to speak. I held up a decent reputation. And then you plumb into a grade 9 of all sudden? That I did. Anything could happen in life. I mean, legendary Kali is not standing in front of me, too. Oh, that's true. To be frank, there was a time when I went batshit and saying ran amok. I didn't care about their consequences at all. I made a lot of enemies back then. The sensation I felt still reverberates in my head sometimes. You also went through a lot. Huh, I can see it in your eyes. I wouldn't say I'm exactly the same being as Kelly anymore, but she's still risk within me. Seems like it. You're upright and honest, unlike most fixers I've seen. I've talked too much. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Sleep tight, Kelly. Alright, level 3. And one new... Uh, li assistant librarian. Tempted. Let's grab a key page. Nemo, why not? Oh no, that's an ally from the original game. Upon taking hit to deal 8 damage to a librarian that attacked it and inflict one fragile to them. Uh, Prioritize using Devour and Allies. Cover 30% of, of current HP upon defeating an ally. Uh, transfer items back to stage 1 when HP drops to 0. Transforms to stage 3 upon fully recovering HP. At the start of the scene, gain 1 strength. Use Horde Screech every 2 scenes. This, I cannot take lightly. Oh. 
Uh oh. That is really bad. Alright, only one block that. Oh no, that's really bad. Alright, good. Alright, I'm allowing it to do that because that means no allies. I'm gonna risk it, and I'm gonna see what happens if I attack them. Actually, group drops just in case, so it, like, will not heal as much. And that, why not? Eh. Alright, there we go. Right now it's not real anymore. Right, that one's down as well. Oh, uh, interesting. Just in case, let's do that. Uh oh, that's bad. Uh oh. There we go. Click a little more burn. Alright, this is the best that's gonna happen, none of this. Interesting, I got a good chunk of their... Uh... It, oh no, never mind. Yeah... Um, no. Alright, let's... First, I want to go, and let's just do uh, the, uh, the one over there again. Wait, no, you, I think you had Callow.
Someone that's usually watch. What? Okay. I'm sorry for that, viewers. The people that I'm I streaming for the Discord are just being pricks. Yeah. Wait, no. I am. I remember where this went. Not where they went now. You had Nemo. And you had Kalo. Wait, no, no, I'm, ma I'm mistaken. You must have actually just had Kello and you had Nemo. Eh. Okay, I already did that, so I'll just skip it. And I'm, I've learned my lesson from last time. I'm gonna do only this floor. Because I'm pretty sure. Oh. Um, game? Oh! My game crashed. Uh, well, thank you for watching anyways.